What if I told you I could add distance to your kicks and make you a more consistent kicker by making more kicks? Well, I'm gonna be going over my top three tips for kicking field goals, and if you apply them correctly, you will gain distance in your kicks and you will make more kicks to be a better kicker. What's going on guys? It's Caden Novikov. We're back again with another top tips for kicking field goals, and this is part two. Y'all enjoyed part one so much when I posted it, and that was two years ago. So I figured I'd give you three more tips that are really good for helping you kick field goals. You're gonna gain distance and make more kicks if you apply them correctly. So my first tip is we have to have enough body lean. Now, what is body lean? Let me show you. Body lean is when we're going to kick the ball. As a right-footed kicker, my left foot's planted in the ground. I'm swinging, my body is leaning away from the ball. So it's gonna be leaning this way as I come through and kick the ball. Now it's very hard to do when I'm not actually kicking because I have no momentum to hold me upright. So your left side, you'll notice it mainly from your left leg to your hips, will be leaning this way to the left as a right footed kicker. Now, why is body lean so important? Two reasons, one, when you have more body lean, your body is in a position of power. So you will gain more power by two things. One, like I said, you're in a position of power. The second one, it's going to help your contact on the ball. And let me show you how. All right, so take this football for instance. So if I have no body lean and I'm upright right here trying to kick the ball, trying to kick the ball, look how my foot's positioned my toes digging into the ground, I'm gonna catch a lot of ground, and then it's gonna slow my foot down to where I hit the ball and I'm gonna lose a lot of power. And it could shift your foot to where you either push the ball right or pull it left. Now, if I have more lean, it's gonna flatten my foot out here to where I'm more like this. All right, now it's very hard to do this just standing here, but it's gonna flatten my foot out right here to where we're gonna get a better surface area of contact on the ball with our foot. So we're going to get better contact. We're not going to hit the ground. So we're not going to lose our velocity with our foot. And the ground won't have a chance to turn your foot to push or pull the ball. Again, just by having more body lean, we're going to be able to have better contact and we're going to gain more power. If we look at some of the best kickers in the NFL and the ones that kick the farthest, like Justin Tucker and Harrison Butker, uh, they have a lot of body lean. Now, not everyone is gonna have that much body lean. I don't have that much body lean all the time, and I'm not saying that's how much you should have. It's different, it's case by case for person. Now, how do we get more lean? All right, so this is my drill to help you get more lean. It's called a pole drill. You can use a soccer goal, you can use the post of an upright, you can even use a door frame at home. So, we're gonna pretend the bottom of this pole is the ball. We're gonna pretend that we're planning next to the ball and we're gonna kick the ball. Now don't actually kick the pole, that is not gonna feel good. But this drill will help you get in the right position for when you're at contact and you can feel the body lean. So what you do, as a right footed kicker, plant with your left foot in here, about a foot's width maybe, next to the bottom of the pole. Right hand grabs onto the pole, left arm comes out just like we're about to kick right here. Now, we're gonna bend the left knee and we're gonna bring this right foot up and point it and lock it like we're about to kick. Now, you gotta hold on with your right arm, but you can bend this left knee and you can lean away from it and you can get the feeling that you want to add more lean. So you can see what that feels like and then go, oh, that's what I need to do and then apply it to your kicking. So we can do this just like a workout. We can do three sets of 10, three sets of 15, three sets of 20, four sets of 10, whatever you want. Um, you can do these at home, on the field, wherever you have a pole. These are a great drill. You should feel the burn in your left butt cheek as a right footed kicker because that's where all your weight is when you plant. All right, my next tip, tip number two, is we have to be precise on our steps. I see so many guys that just walk up and they're so eager to kick it. They get up here and they just step back fast, uncontrolled, steps are all over the place and they don't end up in the right spot. Now guys, I know this can be the boring part of kicking is taking our steps, but this is how we aim the ball. 
And if we're not consistent with our steps, we're not gonna be aiming in the right spot and we're not gonna be the correct distance away from the ball. Your kicks are gonna be all over the place. You're gonna lose power, you're gonna, they're gonna be right, they're gonna be left. I need you to get up here, take your time, take a deep breath, take your steps back. Make sure you're line, aligned and aiming where you want through our target line, right? So I'm aiming where I want. Now we gotta make sure we take steps perpendicular or 90 degrees. So now we're in the right spot. We're the correct distance away from the ball. Our body knows what to do. All we have to do is go kick it. So some of the most common mistakes I see on our steps going back is I see a lot of the younger guys trying to take way big steps back and reach. And guys, just because we're farther away doesn't mean we're gonna kick it farther. In fact, a lot of times that's gonna cause you to miss or not kick it as far because your body's not gonna be in the right position. So I want you to take three walking steps back, normal walking steps back. Boom, we're in the right spot. Now, you might have to play with it just a little bit. You might have to take slightly bigger steps than walking, which is kind of what I do. But you, the main thing is you want to be consistent. You want to get to this spot every time. You want to get to the same depth, same distance every time, whether you're on a hash, in the middle, wherever. So if you don't know how to take your steps from a hash and aim your kick, I have a whole video on that. I'll put it up in the top of the screen right now. Alrighty, so we have our steps back down. Now, our side steps. This is where I see a lot of people make mistakes as well. The common mistakes are, if we're kicking straight, we need to take steps 90 degrees. And a lot of times I'll see guys angle their steps a little bit where they're going too far back like this. And now we're too far from the ball and we're too narrow. We're gonna, if we hit it down our line, it's gonna be to the left. Or I'll see the opposite where we shorten our uh, distance to the ball by taking the wrong angle back downfield closer to the ball. So that's gonna throw us off as well. So another common thing I see on our side steps is I'll see guys take one big step, nice big step, and then they'll just do like a half step. Well now we're a dis different distance away. I need you to make sure these steps, just like on our back steps, are the same distance. So give me a good shoulder width step and a good shoulder width step. Now how can we work on our steps? What's something we can do? I'll tell you. So. What we can do is get some tape, maybe some duct tape, stick it where the ball is gonna be placed. You're gonna take your steps back. You're gonna stick a piece of tape right in front of your toes where your steps uh, went back. Then you're gonna take your side steps and stick another piece of tape right in front of your left foot toes there. So now we have this triangle and we can measure that with a tape measure and figure out what our perfect measurements are to our steps. And then what we can do is we can take those measurements and practice it on the hashes anywhere without kicking the ball or with kicking the ball. So we can leave the tape there and we can get used to taking those steps and hitting those spots. And again, you might have to play with a little bit. Try steps and if you notice like, okay, at this piece of tape, I'm not hitting my kicks the best, but when I move to this one, I'm hitting them really good. Well then use that one you're hitting really good and make sure that's the distance you're getting to every time. That's the best thing to find your steps. All right guys, my third and final tip is plant spot. And you're, if you're wondering why I'm in different clothes, it looks different, my camera memory card died. So yes, this is a different day. I'm filming the rest of this. So again, third tip is plant spot. Now what is our plant spot? Let me show you. All right, so it's a right footed kicker. This is the ball, obviously the hold is right there, we're kicking that way. So, plant spot is when you plant next to the ball just like this with your left foot as a right footed kicker and our weights on this side as we swing through. So this is our plant spot. Now, why is this important? Well, this is important because the plant is the foundation. Just like a house, if we have a weak foundation, the house is gonna crumble or not be strong. So same with our plant. If we have a weak plant or a bad plant in the wrong spot, then our kick is not gonna be strong or we might miss it. Now, plant spots vary, but I'll give you the general rule of thumb of where you should be. So if this is the ball and you're kicking off the ground, normally your plant spot's gonna be 
your ankle bone right here in line with the ball something like this now there are guys who plant way deeper the foot's past the ball there's guys who plant a little shallower maybe right here now if we're off a one inch tee we're going to slide it back just a hair to where the center of the ball is through about the center of our foot and then if we're off a two inch tee we're going to slide back just a little further to where the ball of our foot right here is in line with the seam, the center of the ball. I'm gonna talk about the mistakes I see now. So a lot of times I see the mistake of planting too, sh what we call shallow, which is too far back like this. So if we plant too shallow like this, when we're swinging, we should connect about right here. And if I connect right there, I'm gonna hit a nice spot on my foot, that big bone, and we're gonna kick it straight. Now if my plant's too shallow and the ball's teed up like this and I plant too shallow right here. Instead of hitting it here, we're gonna hit it up here. Well, now my foot's pointing to the left and we're gonna pull that ball to the left or our body's gonna adjust. We're gonna open up, turn, and push everything to the right. It's gonna be a weak kick and it's not gonna be good. So how do we fix plant spots? Use the lines on the field, like the hash marks, like this. So I can tee the ball up here and I can try and plant right on this cross here of where the lines intersect. Now, maybe we don't have a hash mark, but we have a solid white line, a yard line like this. Well, again, we can work on the depth of our plant by, okay, now, say I'm too shallow right here, say, okay, I'm gonna do everything I can to get my toes past that line. Even if they're just a little past it, you're inching up slowly. And again, plant spot can kind of vary, so this will develop over time. But if you're catching a lot of toe or pulling or pushing the ball, this could definitely be something to look at. All right, guys. So those are my top tips for kicking field goals. And this is part two. If you haven't checked out part one, go check it out. Um, y'all really like that one. Like I said, that's why I did this one because y'all like that one so much. I hope these help. I hope these tips helped y'all out um, and just go apply them, work on them and see where it takes your kicking. It should get you a lot better, a lot more consistent. So let me know if this helped you out in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.